day back here for a uh, oh, a real quick video. I'm trying to put this together before I go back on site because it's going to be a while until I can work on anything again. But I mentioned before wanting to do a couple changes to the layout track plan to make it more operational. And I'll show you I'll show you on the track plan first what I'm thinking of and then we'll come back down here and I'll walk around and show you kind of here in person as best I can what I'm thinking of. Um, so let's do that. Let's see if I can get the track plan up, kind of walk through my, my thoughts and where I may be able to do some things and then come back down here and I'll kind of show you. It's mostly changes in Eugene Yard and trying to get some staging behind that area there. So let's look at the track plan and then come back downstairs and see if I can show it to you visually. All right, so here's the current plan for the layout. As you can see, we start out here in Eugene Yard, which is the visible staging. Not really designed to be a yard, to be honest. Over here we have the engine facility, which is just staging for engines. And then you come out of the yard over the pond scene into Wallace Junction and here there is a branch that goes back to the workshop and some staging for a, a local around the peninsula into Lake City and there are two industries here in Lake City around another curve we come into CP 97 which does have a little team track which is really where they set off cars that have uh, bad wheels or hot boxes then we come around into Pittsfield into the Transformer Factory area. And then from Pittsfield back around and we come into Eugene Yard again. So that's basically a double trap loop. Kind of designed more for you know rail fanning your railroad. Now the one thing that we want to try to do is add some staging. Well, where do I do it? I have a workshop here. I have a family room here. Stairs that go upstairs come around into a door and into the mechanical room which has some shelves has the furnace and a water, water heater here's the wall that goes around that divides it that room is usable however I mean if I come through uh, from Pittsfield and kind of punch the wall here I can come through and put a real small shelf maybe three tracks and then if I want to punch the wall at the other side come back in and join back in over at CP97. Uh, put a curve turn out here. That would be a Walther's seven and a half curved. All the other switches turnouts are still number eights. I'm, I'm going to keep number eights. And uh, let me zoom in here. It takes a little bit of time to do all the redrawing. Move down a little bit. Okay, so that shows the area there. And you can kind of see I have uh, two SD40s and 50-foot boxcars. And you can kind of see the size trains I can get in there. A 13, and 11, and a 12-car train. Eh, not great, but it's something. And that's with it, you know, with the staging being double-ended. And if I did that, let me scroll over here. And come up into 97. This means I have to really reconfigure this, because currently that crossover is right there. But that does me no good because that turnout should be here, that crossover. So any train coming along, you know, on the normal direction of, of travel can cross over and then hit back into staging. The way it is now, he can't do that. Uh, it's okay coming out because he's going to come out and he would be on the normal track, you know, right hand forward type of deal. And then coming over here into Pittsfield itself, this also requires a little bit of reconfiguration. I keep that interlocking there, those two crossovers the same. Take this switch out here that's currently there and really make it just a kind of a yard lead, a switching lead. And then add a turn out there and then take it back into the staging area. Now this, uh, this see the way it is now, they have to run all the way along here and get there to the main line. And then they miss the crossovers too, so they can't cross over. So I figured it made a little bit more sense <clears throat> excuse me, to give them a, a crossover uh, to get out to the to the main line. Uh, the little plant switcher would sit there on a little stub track. And basically they have all this track here now, there, all the way back to here. 
uh, that, that would not interfere with the main line. You know, a train coming off the branch would come out, would cross over to the main. If he needs to cross over there, then go around into, into the yard and, and not really bother other than that one little set of crossovers or turnouts. Um, if a local came out to drop off cars, you can drop them off right here or over here as well. And then um, that would also be where they would stage a large transformer shipment, for example. I kind of have one sitting there. I have an idler flat car, a flat car with radiators or heat exchanger. Uh, this would be the uh, the depressed car with the transformer itself, two more flat cars, uh, another idler car, and then a rider caboose. So that's where they could if they wanted, you know, set up a shipment in there for pickup. Um, all right, so then they would leave and then come into Eugene Yard. And to make Eugene Yard a little more usable as an actual yard, which it really isn't right now, there are some things that I would do. Add a track here. Uh, and uh, and you can see there to the right, maybe even add a little stub track there for a little small intermodal ramp. Um, in the back, add a track all the way here at the back. That's a run around that can't be used. It's just a run around to get around the yard without interfering with the yard tracks. Bring a perhaps bring a siding off here with some um, industry. This, which is currently the locomotive facility, make it a trans a transload facility. So I can bring all kinds of different loads into that side. And then down here at Eugene East, again, it kind of I want to change the way it comes in because right now it comes in the main line right there. So if I change that turnout basically to a right-hand turnout and kind of steal another track, I can use this here as the yard lead, which means I can switch, almost pull the whole track, not quite. Uh, and not interfere. I still have this crossover I have to add back in so trains can get out to the main line again and keep on moving or come into the yard. And then, you know, this way they can switch this side and not interfere. Back over here, I would kind of keep two of these tracks as industries. One maybe inside a building here and another one, I don't know what kind of track yet, I'm not sure, but some industry. And then this little pocket track could be for the yard switchers, cabooses, um, you know, road power. It just depends kind of what era and what I'm trying to do. But it's a where, place where they can sit and refuel and be kind of out of the way. Uh, this track in the back here then allows me to get those out and not interfere with someone switching on that end of the yard. So they pretty much would own, you know, the, the local yard crew would own that side of the yard. It can switch. And this track here always stays clear. Uh, the main yard there would be for, you know, yard storage, some staging visibly. And then on the other side, that turnout exists. This little track, if I connect it over to here, then again, I can bring a train in. The road power comes off, comes up, goes into that little area there, can, you know, can refuel. There's some real light stuff they can do there, refueling, and, you know, that's about it. They make the train up, and then they would, would go back out. And then same on kind of on the, on the other side here they would do that as well. Now here at this end of the yard, you know, one crew could be kind of switching these two industries here, the, the industries back along the side there, while the other crew is switching the other side. So one switches kind of to the right, one switches kind of to the left. If I come all the way out here, Okay, so that what kind of what it means is if I come out of the staging yard, um, you can you can see I'm I'm busting the wall. That's easy over there. But one thing I'm thinking of, as opposed to a double-ended staging, still punch the wall there, but just keep it straight like that. You know, don't come through. Don't try to rip that scenery out. Don't need to reconfigure 97. Just come through the wall. That allows me, obviously, much larger trains. As I, oh, this is kind of slow to zoom in. So you can see here, the train size is going to be a little bit larger. 21, 18, 17. And that's rough, you know, because that's a 50, 50 foot car with two SD40. So that, that's a, that's approximate. And then they would, you know, ha the thing that means though that if I did that, they would have to. Let me get the whole layout here. So they come out of the staging area out onto the main line, they come around, 
and I would kind of say that, okay, you know, just for the heck of it, just we're, we're going to say you, you have to run around the whole layout. So you come around, la 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 la, Peninsula, Lake City, 97, back around again, hello, I'm back, and then you come into the yard. And then your power comes off, goes over, gets serviced, the switcher comes out of the pocket, he starts switching, taking the cut, adding cars, whatever he's got to do, then the road power comes back out, and he might have to go on the main line, comes over, gets on the, the train to go back, and he comes back out, and then we'll make him run around again, just because we want to enjoy the scenery. So he runs around, the peninsula, the bridge, back through, let's come back again, and we'll go back into staging. So it's, it's something. Uh, it's not perfect, but it, it does give you something, a little more operability. Um, and the, this yard here, I would, would kind of say, okay, it's kind of like the OD yard, the Pensy yard in Erie. That's where the trains come in, out of here, out of staging. They come out of the branch, and they go into that yard there. And then they can do their work over there, or on this side as well, depends. Now, this side over here uh, still does kind of retain its, you know, visual staging. And a train will come out, run around the layout once. He comes around, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes into the yard, drops, picks up, does whatever he does. Power comes off, or you know, it doesn't have to, but it could. Um, and then they, you know, continue, you know, on their merry old way. So it, at least it's 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 something. Um, you know, I have the pocket here, and I could have a crew working this end of the yard, a crew working the industries at that end of the yard. So I probably could have you know two crews going, maybe even three. Hard to say where it depends how I want to switch uh, the crews here in the in the yard so <clears throat> the problem is you gotta watch that turn out there because if I'm switching you know, toward the right I, I don't want to foul the main line but I put those industries far enough away they can pull a cut of cars out and then from the other side it's not really that big a deal they could they could switch and, and do things like that so okay um, that's the thought it's still preliminary it's it's not set in stone it's something I'm thinking about uh, let's go down to the layout. Let's take a look and see if it makes any sense at all in person. And then we will uh, like to see people's thoughts. All right. So hopefully that track plan and, my, and the thoughts made some kind of sense. <laughs> so here we are. Here's the area at CP97 where I'd have to reconfigure the interlocking. And right straight ahead behind that wall up there. And we'll actually walk back real quick into that room. It's a mess, but at least I'll show you my thoughts is where I may be able to put some staging. So what I have to do, you know, like I said, is take this crossover, take it out. I hope I can save it. Ugh. Take it out and move it so it's here. And then keep everything else the same. And then add a number eight switch basically here. Bring it out. I mean, it's really tight to the wall. I realize that. I don't know how I scenic it. Uh, I don't know how I would do that. I'd put a retaining wall there, you know, like a, a block wall or a brick wall or something. I don't know. It's going to look kind of strange. But then it would come around here. So this corner would basically come out, or a good part of it. The track comes around, and then like I showed, it kind of comes through this wall here, back behind here, which is the mechanical room for staging. And I showed you kind of the size of the trains I can get back there. Again, I'm not going to be getting real long intermodals or auto rack trains, but I can do something. And then here, now this will have to be reconfigured. And of course, this building doesn't belong here. Here is where, roughly about in there, is where that would come out from behind here and I have to do something here to hide it that's why I'm thinking a road bridge over it like it's a road access into the plant and it just so happens to be where the that other line goes out and then it would come in here like I said this will be reconfigured a little bit you know basically it will, it will you know come in here and then this track that these cars are on basically you know up this way becomes the the branch line or whatever line you know coming in to the main line I don't 
like I said, I don't like it as much because I still have the switch off of that line, but I can still do something. And I can probably still have a little pocket here for the cars that get dropped off and picked up by the local that either comes off out of the branch or comes out of Eugene Yard, either way. And then I should, one thing I should do, here's where I should add that other turnout so I have a switch lead coming up here. Now again, it's right against the, the darn wall there, but eh, it would fit. And, and originally I had it that way. I just when I actually got down here physically, I didn't like the way it looked, so I didn't put it in, but I could. It would fit. I could I could certainly put a you know a lead out here. And then the, what that does, it allows you to switch out of the factory without coming on to the to the main line here. At least onto this main line. <laughs> this main line. You're still kind of on the the branch line main line. Alright, so that's you know where that would come in. I would keep pretty much keep the factory the same. I might again I might have to reconfigure some of the tracks up there at the end, but that's not, not a huge deal. But since the turnouts are all in and laid in there, I'll, I'll leave them alone and then just see if I have to move the track a little bit. And then over here in Eugene Yard, again, here is, you know, currently that's where all the engines are. You know, like I mentioned, if I make that into a transflow facility or something like that and just don't don't have all this was, like I said, was just, you know, staging for locomotives. Certainly don't need to have them all sitting there. I could use that space for more for more switching if I had a transflow industry in there. Was thinking of again perhaps adding here. Oh, that darn building now is on this side. <laughs> this is what was sitting over there in Lake City before I worked on the lights. You know, adding that track here, it wouldn't be an, an intermodal yard anymore. It would be another like an eastbound yard. Small, but it's still an eastbound yard, and then maybe bring something off here and have a like a little piggyback ramp for one or two cars. I was thinking more if I ran the 50s era for that, and then you know there'd be some changes to the track. Basically, add another, like I said, add another track here, and then there's also that that turn out to the siding where I could put the you know the building along the the backdrop here. Which may look okay, and then even bit like I said, build it into, you know, build the building around here. Like that's like, that's part of the building. It'd be a little bit tight, but that way it gives me some more switching possibility, and then a lot of reconfiguration up at this end. You know, like I showed, this would probably have to come out, bring this over. You know, and that would tie into here, and that gives you a little pocket in here for you know road power to sit while the trains are being switched or something like that um, i do have a switch lead here so that's okay and that's you know pretty long so that's the switch lead like i say for you know for this yard over here now you know on this side like i showed you i don't because the ladder comes right out to the main line so if i'm going to switch i'm going to be you know blocking the main line which one it's just me it's not a big deal but you know, the, cha the changes that I showed in the track plan, you know, give you a, uh, it's, it's hard to visualize here, but basically this gets replaced with a turnout. It comes straight kind of along where this track is, where the J is, and that would come up and be the switch lead. And then you put a, a crossover here so you can get out from there when they're coming out of the yard to get out to the main line. And then use, utilize that crossover to get, you know, on the right-hand side to be, you know, right-hand forward. And then, again, put an industry back along here. Maybe have one of these tracks be some type of uh, oil unloading or something. I don't know. But you can kind of see the way it looks now. And then they also have that little pocket in here for either for cabooses or for the switchers to sit out of the way. So if one switcher was sitting there, the other could still be working the yard. I think that might be more operationally correct, so to speak. You know, I mean, most of the switching would have to be done at this end. You know, kind of like I said on the track plane. You know, you'd be working here because you can pull out on the switch that you can call, pull cuts of cars and not block the main line. 
and then if you had to work the other end, you still could. You just, you know, it's just, just the ladder comes out onto the main line, so you gotta be careful how long a cut of cars that you that you can pull. Uh, but you still can do it. So you would switch the transflow area, or the transload area, whatever I put up there, which is now the engine terminal. You still would switch that from from the east end. And then if you were switching, if I decided to have the turnout this way, you just need to have enough room to pull your cars off and get to one of the yard tracks, you know, and be able to clear, you know, the locomotive by about here so you're not coming out of the main line. Again, not that that's the end of the world for, for this, but that way you don't have to block the main. So there'll be some changes in there. And then there's some more industry, you know, back along the back with a couple more spots for cars. So that, that you can almost have maybe two crews working here in the yard. You know, one uh, kind of maybe peddling the industries and one working the east end, so to speak. And uh, you could have some trains, you know, come in and drop off cuts of cars. Uh, if you had a, had a train come out of the branch, you could come around, you know, come into the yard with this whole train. His power goes out and it maybe sits, you know, out of the way up there on that track. All the switchers, then you know, take some cars off or add some cars to it and swap the caboose around if, if I'm modeling that era at the time. And then the road power comes back and takes the train back to the staging area. You know, it's something. It's not uh, not a lot. I don't really have nearly as much hidden staging as I would like. Um, but that way I get some staging so I can bring some trains, you know, out of the staging area, onto the layout, do some work in the yard, and I can get in from both sides. Because before, uh, if you just came out here, basically you could run into the yard and the power is going to switch ends and you go back, which is possible. But if I decide to reconfigure over here, that way, you know, obviously you can come out of staging, come into the yard, drop a cut of cars, pick up some cars, you know, that kind of stuff, then continue, hopefully I'm not panning too fast here, <laughs> and continue around the layout, woohoo, and then, you know, back in the stage, you know, on this side, so it's kind of like you made a run across the layout, and I was thinking, and again, this is not probably totally prototypical, but if you come off the branch, or come out of the yard, you got to run around, maybe you run around the layout twice, you know, I know it's the same thing twice, and that's not realistic, but at least that's something, right? I don't know. All right, so let's go over to the other room. We'll get a real quick look back behind here to see what that looks like. And it's a mess, I'm going to warn you, but let's go take a look. Okay, so here's the mechanical room. And along this wall here is where you'd come out from CP97 probably would be come out, you know, right about in here. And again, I'm not talking about huge, just the three tracks. You know, it's just kind of hugging the wall here because you got to have room when the maintenance guys come in to do my yearly, you know, uh, fall and spring maintenance on the furnace. Like I said, now you can see it's stacked with all kinds of other paraphernalia. But then I could curve around. And then, you know, it'd be, just be a shelf. And out that far and poop, that's where it poke through and go out into Pittsfield, right by the factory. A little risky because, you know, the water heater and furnace are back here. But I figured if I made it somehow, you know, on the shelf, that maybe was just on brackets, like I could remove if I had to. You know, if something happened back here and I had to come do some major work, I could take it out. Yeah, I don't know if this, if that curved turnout would fit right in there, but... It, it looks close. And then that's really, you know, all I could do. At least it gets me something. So that's the uh, mechanical room I'm thinking about using. I can't really do much more because these are a messy family room. And you can see there's the, you know, that's the door into the layout room. So I can't really, I mean, that's the workshop back in there. Which I love, I want to keep that, but if, if I came around there, I guess I could come out here and along here. Then I got closets. And then even if I took those out or didn't worry about it, then I still got to get from here over to here. You know what I mean? It's just I'm not that 
good at figuring that out and I just don't know how else to use it, how else to if I ever got the chance to utilize this room I'm not sure how I would do it because um, even if I tried to come you know along here and through here well now I'm right out in the middle of this room because I still need access to get back here I can't close off the, the furnace and the water heater as soon as I do that I'll be in trouble so I don't know so that's uh, but that is the back room that's where I'm thinking of putting the staging along the side in there at least get me something off the layout where I can run some trains on and off all right so there's the view at 97 that would be reconfigured with that track going off into the back and I'd like to know people's thoughts again I'm, I don't claim to be the world's greatest model railroad operator but those are the thoughts what I'd like to do to try to improve things uh, let me know what you think uh, does it make sense is it a waste of time but uh, again I'm considering it will take a lot of work you know obviously need a lot more track I need to buy more track I need to make more turnouts which I can do it's not hard to make them it just takes time have to reconfigure the you know the, the computer program you know maybe take some signals out add more signals make sure I have enough inputs and outputs I mean it'd be some work but I think if I did pull it off it would uh, expand the operability operability that a word of the layout itself because it really it's just a a big double track loop right now you know you just you just run around and watch your train roll through the scenery which is it and, and all of that's what I said that's what it was intended for it was uh you know consciously made that way but would like to get some uh operational improvements so let me know what you think those are the thoughts still be working on that a little bit i'm working on the track plan some more and trying to noodle up the costs and what it would be to to actually pull it off but uh let me know what you think those of you out there that are operators that uh that are you know much better at track planning and operations than i am let me know if this uh has any uh, semblance of a plan all right, thanks, everybody.